Hi, and welcome to my channel. This is KB. We're saving 101, and I am KB, Kim Baker. If this is your first time visiting my channel, then welcome. I am a crazy lifetime thrifter turned reseller, and I currently resell on Poshmark, Macari, Tradesy. I list it on Etsy, Vestair, and setting up my Grailed. So if you're interested in reseller tips and tricks and haul videos, then do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button down below because hoping it will help me out. All right, um, today I'm gonna tell you guys, how much damage can you do in 15 minutes? You're gonna find out. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I had to take my honey to an appointment, and um, if you watched last week's video, you know I did a boo-boo by shopping the wrong tag all day long, so I knew what color tag it was. It was orange this week, and I was dying knowing that I was not going to make it to my normal one. I only had 15 minutes. You want to see how much damage I did? I got 25 items and I spent $29.59. So I did get one full priced item and it's a doozy. Um, so let's dive in. One of my biggest tips for you guys is gonna be, you know, you know, you run your business the way you want to, but uh, I'm shopping out of season because I want the biggest bang for the bucks I'm spending. So I don't mind picking these items up because they're hopefully going to sell for higher dollar than some of the, especially shorts. Shorts don't sell for, make very little profit on them. So I don't know, I'm gearing and I'm staying with the higher stuff. Um, anyway, I went straight to Coats and I don't think there was any resellers at this particular store this day. Um, never been to it, especially at 9 a.m. on a Thursday. So uh, not a clue. Anyway, this one happens to be a tech gear starting off with my weakest piece and go to my best. Um, and it's a size medium. It is just this little down vest in a neon yellow. Um, actually, it's kind of greenish, but it's new with tags. So new with tags, I don't mind picking up. Even if it's not gonna bring me super high dollar, it will hopefully get more attention during the holiday season when people are trying to do Christmas shopping. All right. I have not heard of this brand, so um, I know nothing. Sorry, guys. Need to do a lot of Googling. Um, this happens to be a Mag... I'm, a I'm already tongue-tied. Margaret Godfrey. Um, women's. I do not have a size, so I will, of course, stick in my measurements. Um, and it just reminds me of, like, more of a 70s style. It is a button-down and it is genuine leather. Um, in this beautiful, darker camel color and all of like this, I don't know, what would you kind of call that detailing? Anyway, um, yes, I think that should do well. I mean, if you think about it, I'm not gonna ever list a leather coat for less than 39. It's usually going to be 50 and above. So I'm all good with picking up those types of items. All right, um, you know, I really wish I could have made it to the skirt section because they probably had a matching skirt to go with this um, jacket. Um, Anyway, it is a K Unger New York 12, and we are 100% silk. Um, just this button down collared and a little like blazer it would be over. Um, I could see it with a very long skirt. Um, and Mother of the Bride is definitely something I will add to my keywords. Um, anyway, silk, all that good stuff. No idea what she goes for. But remember, when you're listing, silk is going to raise the value. All right, next, something I normally would pass by, but it's leather. Um, it's a St. John, it's washable suede. I, this is only the second time I've ever run into a washable suede. Anyway, um, it is a zip up, um, like chocolate brown with pockets, um, suede jacket. There you go. All right, this one is so soft. Um, I can't read, well, let's see, can I? It is stinking so soft, I can't even begin to tell you. And let's see, we are just, oh, we do, 50% wool and 50% acrylic. So that's good, because wool blend is definitely going to be in some of my keywords. It is a Liz Claiborne. It is a size four, um, and I will do a little bit more Googling but it definitely 
is super cute, super soft in this cream color. I don't know, like a basket weave. Um, and it has these clasps. So I'll do a little bit more Googling to see if it's anything particular. But um, Liz actually does very well for me. Um, and I'm hoping that I can maybe date that as a vintage piece. So um, I won't know until I start Googling. Next. No idea. This is the one item I actually went through and showed my honey because um, after I went and brought him home, it was like, I don't know, we got here at 10 30. So I got to my store that had all the orange tags at like 11 and they still had my orange tags. So I did some major damage this week. <laughs> anyway, um, so I was like, if there's anything I think I should take back, you should let me know because I like to show him my hauls too. I'm totally upfront and honest with the amount of crap I have. Anyway, um, this happens to be, it says London, Paris, Casablanca for guys, for gals. So it is definitely a unisex. I do not, do not believe I have a size on here. Um, uh, so it's just this, and it looks like maybe it could be a kid's, but people were smaller. Um, so I don't know. Um, I will try to try it on. I will take the measurements. I will try to coincide it with a female size. So even if I put extra small, that will do me probably better than having it listed under a child's. Um, and it says guys and gals. So um, yes, but it is just this vintage and I'm assuming like a 70s. Um, there you go. Okay. Now, DKNY jeans. Um, I just sold a pair of her pants. So um, when I sell items, I'm always willing to give that brand again another shot um, but I really do think this is cute it is a button down has a little peplum I'm not a big jean jacket kind of chick so um I, this is one of the ones I mm, except that I already sold um you know I, I've sold her so it's not like a big deal and it is a size large so um yeah we'll see not quite sure 39 maybe All right. Oh, you know what, guys? I do want to say something. I just watched a video, um, and it was uh, it said that it was items that sold for fifty dollars or more. Um, and what I found was really funny. Um, I started watching the video in, on the very first item, and it had free shipping. All right, selling it for fifty dollars, and you're paying seven ninety nine shipping on Poshmark. That is not an impressive sale to me. So <laughs> watch and listen very well. I don't give shipping discounts, guys. <laughs> I was floored. Okay, so yeah. Anyway, all right, let's keep moving. Um, this one is a town. Well, it's town by London Fog. Um, size medium. And it is this nice black fully lined trench with slit pockets very super cute. I am getting stoked for fall, guys. My closet's going to be ready to rock and roll. All right. Oh, this one is so heavy. Guys. All right. So um, this is my tip to you. If you don't know what to do <laughs> or, you know, uh, go Kim, you're crazy. Um, anyway, I um, am putting my measurements in my listing, but I'm doing it utilizing a photo. Um, if you don't have enough room for all of your photos, use, um, I'm forgetting, what's the name of the app? Um, I use it all the time. <laughs> and the app's name is Layout. Um, and I'll use Layout to maybe um, put three or four um, uh, material tags together so I can have more photos. Um, but by having a photo for not only my measurements, um, and I did get that with that little whiteboard from common tags I have added in that I put um, my stock number so it's all right there and also how much it weighs so that when I am cross posting or listing items onto other platforms that have not been listed on I know exactly how much to be charging for that shipping because I'm telling you this one is like weighs a ton um, and it's highly important to do that or you're going to, this one, I would have to upgrade. I would have to upgrade um, my Poshmark 
So um, if your labels are over five pounds, like somebody wants to bundle and they bundle 30 items, great for you. But if it's over five pounds, you have to upgrade your shipping label or you tell them to break up your bundle. Um, this one, you can't break it up. You're going to have to pay up. Um, and who are you? Do I even have any information? Um, it is super cool. It is Wilda Genuine Leather New York USA size large. I believe it is a men's. It is fully like sharp aligned, um, hooded leather, vintage. What other great keywords can I put in here? Um, let me show you. So I got my boxes. Um, it is, yeah, it, it's heavy. It is definitely heavy. Maybe it's not men's because uh, I'm not really a large. <gasps> oh no! I saw boo boo. I got me a boo-boo, which is really good because guess what? I go shopping Thursdays and my Goodwills have a seven-day return. Um, I don't know if you can see. It's missing its pull. How did I miss that? Well, you do. You miss those kinds of things. Um, you know what? I will Google this brand first and then I'll decide if I'll take it back. It was only $1. So is it going to kill me? Can I sell it for less? Can I still zip it and unzip it? Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to just um, see. I may decide to take it back. I may just list it as is. So anyway, um, yeah, it is heavy duty. I'm also thinking about, um, do you want a booth at um, some of the vendor kind of events? Um, there's some, since streetwear is so really super in right now and the vintage streetwear and the t-shirts and that, there's a lot of those events happening in our area. Um, now, I do have a lot of leathers, which, you know, I would actually go through and go for a fall one so that I get more bang for my buck. And I'd take in all my cowboy boots and I would take in all my leathers along with um, any t-shirts and vintage really super cool items. So um, I am thinking about doing that. I will keep you posted if I end up doing it. So <laughs> there you go. But let's keep moving with the haul. Um, Valerie Stevens, separates. Um, and do I have a size? Probably not. You know, I'm telling you, you have 15 minutes. 15 minutes. What kind of damage? Lots. Um, it is leather. Um, I swore it had a tag. Oh, here it is. I'm missing it. It's a medium. Um, leather, fully lined, again, like that 70s style button down, collared. Um, so, yes, and this one is super soft in this beautiful, um, very light camel color. Okay. Town by London Fog. Either somebody really liked this or, yeah, um, I got another storage unit of somebody's like clearing it out. None of these are new with tags though. Um, this one is a size medium, and it is a cream, fully lined, trench belted, a trench coat with slit pockets. So, um, in a size medium, yes. So beautiful. Just try it. Ooh. All right. Um, now, this one, you can go through and see that the tag is totally missing there. Okay. I do have a tag over here. Um, it says acrylic, polyester, lining, size medium. Um, and do I, what was the other store? It might have been the other store. This one does not have the pockets. It must have been the other store because I had found two fur ones. Um, like last week, I was so excited I was going to pick it up, but it was a little bit more matted, and this one isn't, um, even though it doesn't really have a brand. Um, I do have a little size, and I'm just going to go through, give it a little love, and get her listed for um, the fall season. Um, a little crop faux, and it's a nice chocolate brown faux fur. You know, I ran into... Um, um, well, I'll tell that story in the next video. How's that? <laughs> I think this one's getting a little long. All right. Um, this is LA Idol USA size medium. I have no clue, but I am going to tell you that I have my country style daughters, um, absolutely love this, um, all of this thread 
threading detail and the bling on their butts. So um, being a cute little jean jacket in that same kind of style, I thought, yes, um, I'm going to give it a shot because if my girls like it, I'm sure there's other girls out there who want it. Okay. Now we are getting into some of my vintage pieces and more interesting pieces. All right. This one is leather and, well, it's a suede, um, and it is an Anne Klein. It is, it says petite. Um, I will have to take the measurements. I don't know if I have the actual size. Um, do I have the size? Let's see. It's 100% suede, and I don't believe I have the size. But what I do have is a labor tag, which I believe is like 70s or before. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, it just says petite. It is in this beautiful pink, like a, uh, it's kind of like a mauvey pink. Um, and it is so super soft. Again, I could put it like maybe under open cardigans, blazers, jackets. You can list them underneath more than one. I don't mind doing that on the sites. I don't get um, charged for listing my items. I would never do that like on Etsy where you have to pay per listing. It's like 20 cents, but I'm not going to do that. Um, all right. Next, a vintage piece, and it is stinking adorable. Okay, ready? Um, I should have buttoned it up. I'm so sorry. It snapped. It's got snaps. I don't know the date on this one. It is a Warren Petite. God, I hate picking them up, but I couldn't resist this. This is just too stinking cute. Size 10. You know, um, I will take all the measurements, and I might skip the word petites in my listing. Um, sometimes it just pays to be a little sneaky to get your items sold, guys. Um, you know, like I said, there's a jacket that I got that's leather. I'm going to list it under females. I'm not going to list I, I mean, I will list it under kids. I'm not going to give them a price break. <laughs> <laughs> and I will list it under females also. So, um, you know, kind of come up with unique ways of getting attention to your items because, you know, I really think this would be an absolutely adorable piece. It says it's a size 10, but I want you to look at this. Um, I don't know. Look at this cut out peplum um, and this the like the satin trim um it's in like a seafoam green so it could use pastels um it is just stinking adorable look at that i might use the word artsy um yeah and if you don't um one of my ways i am like Google Images is like one of the first things I do with my pieces these days. I start with Google Images. I don't even bother to put in all of the keywords and try to Google items that way first. I just do the images and see if there's anything that comes up that is like it, with it, or is it. Okay? It's saved me some time and, you know, and then sometimes I come up with nothing, but it works. Um, this is a periwinkle. Never heard of them. Again, it's a vintage piece. And it says, what can I read this? Size 12, made in the USA. It's just acetate and rayon, but it is this cute, again, open cardigan blazer um, duster. And it's yellow with these polka dots. But yeah, I just thought it's adorable. So we'll give it a shot. Probably like 39, unless I find that this is like a really sought after kind of vintage piece or something. So. 39 is like my low end of my vintage stuff. And then of course on Poshmark I'll offer 30, it's only 24 on it, but um, always hoping for higher. Um, and I, I'm not afraid to list higher. All right, so this is Baby Fat, um, and it says by Kimono Lee Simons. Um, it says it's a size small. Um, I picked it up, it is like a little puffer coat. It does have, where is it at? Um, I swear. Uh, oh, it has um, like its label there. Um, it has its label back here. And this is actually a real fur trimmed hood. If I run it correctly, let me make sure. Da 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 da. Uh, genuine coyote fur. So it is um, coyote fur. So I thought for a buck, I'll pick it up. Okay. 
You're doing good. There's only, I don't know, there's a few more pieces. Um, let's see. Who are you? Oh, Classique, right? Are you my Classique? Classique, you know, and I slaughter that one. Interior, whatever it is. Size large. And I believe we are wool. Do I have? Oh, I don't. Okay, I don't. But it is super soft. And it is like this cape. And it is in this blue. I'm going to get this really close. It's blue. Um, and it's like a cropped cape with these puff sleeves. I think it's adorable. Um, definitely a Scotland Yard kind of a, a vibe for me. Um, if you can think of any other ones, you know, sharing all those fun keywords that we don't necessarily think of. Well, I don't think of. Um, it's really nice having my daughters around because sometimes they give me some keywords that I don't think of. Um, anyway, I think that's adorable and it should do well. All right. Now this one and um, was one of the ones I was questioning whether I should take back. Um, but I am going to tell you that it is a vintage piece. And um, this is the brand Bean Bag, which is, is it Jeffrey? No, Joffrey Bean. Sorry, guys. It's one of those. I think it's Joffrey Bean. I think that's it. Anyway, so he's a designer. This was his lower end, but it is a size 12 and it is a vintage. It is this tie um, with pockets, long like um, duster, and it gives me very much um, leg and look kind of vibes. So um, I'll also put like cape, um, I don't know, other keywords in there, but yes, for a dollar, I thought, yeah, I'll risk, I'll risk this one. Thought about taking it back. But once I figured it out, that, yes, Bean, and it's B-E-E-N-E -E -E bag, is that designer, I decided to keep it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, this one again is vintage Marlene of Roma, made in Italy, all wool, 100% wool, and it is this trench duster knit and it look at the colors on this um, pockets it is stinking adorable i am super stoked about this what a unique piece don't forget if you can't find like i was googling um one of my silk trenches that i just had and um there was only one other um silk trench listed by this person by this brand so um to me that says rare um, cause you can't find it. <clears throat> so use good keywords. All right. Um, this one, I have no idea. No idea. I thought it was so singing cute that I picked it up. So there you go. Um, it is called fate, which I have no idea size large. And, um, I believe it is just, it doesn't have what it's made out of. Um, it's just a faux suede, but it is this open vest patchwork cardigan with um slit pockets it's really adorable um and um this um tie detail so you know what because maybe you can't visually see it um, i have no idea i'll have to google this i got it just not for the print but it's for the style of it um you know i think this one would be my one for this week for the print of it uh, <laughs> Some weeks I got that word going on and others I don't. So let's see if I can pull you down so you can get more. I mean, and this thing is long. You can see it goes, it's long. Okay. So you can crisscross, tie this puppy up. Okay. I've got my pockets. And I've got my little back here. Um, not that it's like that. It's not like even a cinch, does it? Okay. So kind of changed the look on it. But um, I don't know, tribal, definitely. Um, I don't know, I have to think of some more. Um, native, uh, other good keywords besides patchwork, faux fur, or faux fur, faux leather, <coughs> faux suede, sorry. Um, and yada, da, 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 da. But I think it's really adorable, and I definitely think I'm going to get, you know, at least 25 for it. So. Yeah, and I probably am going to list it for at least $39. Um, i will know more when I Google that brand. All right, the next. And sometimes I don't really care. Um, you know, 
I know people are just like, you know, all about, did you look up the comps? You know, guys, really, if you look up the comps, sometimes things are sold in a bundle, and they say that they sold for $50, and that person offered 50% off that bundle. So at 50% off, they actually sold it for $25. I don't really think comps are <clears throat> uh, reliable, and, um, you know, I'll throw out what I'll throw out, and then I can always drop. So it is what it is. All right, so this is so stinking cute. It is a Banana Republic. It is factory. My daughter stole my last really super cute suit set. I'm afraid she's going to steal this one. Um, it's got corduroy elbow pads. Um, it has uh, like a velvet trim and we are 60% wool in this really super cute turquoise and we are a size six. So um, yes, it's so stinking cute. All right, next. <clears throat> All right, I have, this is uh, three more pieces, this piece and two more. And yeah, we're done. You're doing good, guys. All right, so this happens to be Yvonne Picone. Yvonne Picone, and we are, do I have a size? Do, 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 dry clean only. I have no size, which is fine, right? Oh, no, let's see, there's more tight. Uh, made in Thailand, okay, made in Thailand. It looks like it had a button hood, but I don't have the hood to it, and I don't have a size. But I am going to tell you, it is like, um, it has a sheen, not necessarily a metallic, but it is gray, like a charcoal gray with the sheen, and what else but... A trench and this one's long it goes down past my knees um, and it is belted and let's see I button this it is I guess a double breasted because it's got buttons and buttons and we tie and um, okay so let's see Doctor Who cosplay um, I don't know would anybody bother to stick Mr. Gadget in there uh, but yes it is really stinking adorable, and I just love the color to it. And again, we're going into fall. There were a lot of trench coats. Um, so, yeah. And um, my daughters, I just, <laughs> they were like um, geeks because they absolutely loved Doctor Who. Um, what, is they, what do they call that geek fashion? I don't even know. Um, Doctor Who... Um, and there are um, almost like cult followers for that particular show. And um, yes, so um, don't forget Doctor Who, Doctor Who. Okay, this one, you know, and none of these guys did I have time to look up while I was at the store. 15 minutes, I ran through there and I had more than this and I had to go through that pile and then I had to get my button line. So um, I did not look this up, but I saw it says raw, it has, again, this, like, funky tag down here. Um, it has um, a tag here, and um, it has, like, a rubbery thing here, okay, on the sleeve. So um, I sat there, and I go, well, it's got to be something. And for a buck, I was willing to pick it up. And these originally sell for over $250, so I'm super stoked about, yes, um, you know, when you find something that is like, I don't know, what are we made out of? Just cotton? Uh, contract, identity, I don't even know. Um, I don't know. It feels like it's a cotton. So um, anyway, um, I'll do some more Googling, but yes, um, they should uh, it should do very well i believe they were already listed above sixty dollars on poshmark when i took a peek when i got home because that was in my questionable do i keep or do i take back pile all right are you ready for my full price item guys you're going to die it is so stinking gorgeous i'm so freaking stoked all right so it is vintage and not only is it vintage it is a 
Bergendorf Goodman on the Plaza New York. And then we have by um, Eccentrics by Lou Nirenberg. Okay. And it says clean by a furry method. Now, my only other problem is I have no size. And what you want to do is if you can't find other information, you always look in the pockets to see if maybe they tagged. And it does have a really cute inside pocket, but there is no info. So um, I have no size, so I'll have to take measurements. I have no idea what this is made out of. No idea. Um, but I'm going to tell you, it is Hollywood glam. Okay. So it is a, I don't know if it's a faux, I mean, it's got to be a faux fur, I'm supposing. Um, it has this gorgeous sheen to it. Oh, guys. And just look how stinking it is open. There are no buttons whatsoever. But, oh, and you would not even believe when I started Googling these. So <clears throat> now, <clears throat> when you have an item that has like two different people on it, um, you know, I like to do Google both names. Who is more valuable? <laughs> um, because, you know, um, yes, if um, Lou, uh, whoever he is, was more valuable um, than uh, Bergendorf Goodman, um, then I would list him underneath that. Uh, so there you go. But um, actually, these things are worth a ton of money. It is in mint condition. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it was $6.99, and because I had more than 20 items, I received 20% off. So there you go. There are my 25 items for $29.59 in less than 15 minutes. And how much profit do you think I can make from that? Dang, I think that's a good day. Um, I hope you learned something. I hope you had some fun. I hope you come back and see me again. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Till next time, guys.